What is up guys, this is Mateo's 2020 Politics here, and today, I'm going to be talking about John Delaney dropping out of the presidential race. Now, one moment, if I do, one reminder, if I do seem a bit off today, that's because I just saw To Kill Mockingbird on Broadway, Ed Harris played Atticus Finch, so I'm going to be a bit shook, I'm still a bit like, whoa, from the performance. But yeah, anyway guys, John Delaney... A.K.A. one of my favorite slash least favorite candidates has dropped out of the race. Do, do, do I like him? No, I despise him. Am I going to miss him? Yes, of course. <laughs> because, you know, there, there are always a few candidates I really dislike, but I like talking about them because, it, because they're so ridiculous. And John Delaney is one of those candidates. So, another, another one was uh, was uh, Wayne Messam. You guys remember all the Wayne Messam videos I uh, made on him? All the videos made on Wayne Messam. He was he, just a, um, a refresher for your mind. Wayne Messam was that candidate who just couldn't drop out. He didn't make it to the first debate, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, and just couldn't quit until right before the fifth debate, although it was after he failed to qualify. So, you know, all of his campaign staff were quitting. He only raised $5 in one of the um, marketing periods, so he just <laughs> he was delusional. John Delaney, on the other hand, was able to make it to the first two debates, but, um, he was that um, centrist guy who had the almost he almost, he had that um, balding Will Ferrell look, where it was you had he had like blonde hair here of course a uh, bit of a bald spot um, overall overall had overall had a, qu a pretty quirky lovable look almost, but he was that centrist who kept fear mongering saying if we implement if you implement Medicare for all our hospitals will close down just continuous fear mongering and bashing of Medicare for all so. He earned a special part in my heart for um, a candidate I really dislike, but at the same time I love him because it's like I don't want him to go away. But when he's at, when he's actually like speaking, I want him to go away. I want him to shut up. But when he's away, I want him to come back because I miss him. And he was delusional um, because he believed he could win Iowa and New Hampshire. He literally said, "I'm gonna stay until at least Iowa and New Hampshire." So. He must have realized last moment he couldn't win because he just quit uh, two days ago on January 31st, which is three days before the Iowa caucus. So he didn't, he of course didn't keep his promise because he dropped out a few days earlier, which is kind of an awkward time to drop out. I mean, imagine dropping out three days before the Iowa caucus. It's like, why stay so long to drop out right before the Iowa caucus? doesn't make any sense. So, I thought that, you know, uh, about a week before the Iowa caucus, within that one week, nobody would, be, nobody would really be dropping out because it's like, why stay so long if you're not going to even stay for the Iowa caucus? But uh, John Delaney was that one exception. Of course, it was him who dropped out three days before the Iowa caucus. Kind of strange. Um, but as of now, it's February, it's February 2nd. And... Um, the Iowa caucus is tomorrow, and I'm very hyped for that. It's going to occur at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Um, and I'm excited because, for some reason, Michael Bennett is still in the race. And Michael Bennett is just like John Delaney, except I also love him. He is a guy who had as much, ha who had less energy than a bag of chips. <laughs> because, you know, this guy was the one who spoke like this in the first and second debate. And just was boring. He was like John Delaney, except had no energy whatsoever. It was just boring. He didn't say anything memorable whatsoever. Even worse than Tom Steyer. And I just and I despise Tom Steyer because of how boring he is. Um, but just Michael Bennett just always sounded tired. Um, and he's staying for the Iowa caucus. I don't know why, because uh, actually, I do believe he's polling a bit higher than John Delaney, but it's by zero point two percent. Um, they're both below 1% for sure in the RCP average of polling, but Michael Bennett's a bit higher, so I, I guess I understand why he would stay for the Iowa caucus, but even then it's just crazy to be so delusional and like John Delaney, only have been the first two out of the seven debates and still being, you know, ready for the Iowa caucus. I don't know why you'd still be in a race, you're just making a fool of yourself. But, um, yeah, I remember I was just thinking, um, I really wanted John Delaney to stay for the Iowa caucus because I wanted to see how badly he would do, but he dropped out a few days prior. So, what should we expect for tomorrow? We should expect Bernie Sanders to win narrowly because he's pulling uh, in first place in Iowa. But, of course, it's in the margin of error, so we could have um, Pete Buttigieg win. He's doing pretty well. Joe Biden win. He, I believe he's in second place in Iowa. Um, the RCP 
polling average, and then Warren could possibly win, but no one near, she doesn't have as much of a chance as, let's say, Buttigieg, Buttigieg or Biden. So what else can we expect? We're going to expect a few candidates to drop out, um, and uh, mark, my, mark my words when I say that, because... You know, back in 2016, Martin O'Malley, a Democratic candidate, um, dropped out right after the, on the day of the Iowa caucus after he didn't win. Um, we had a couple of Republicans like Rick Santorum drop out um, on February 3rd, um, Mike Huckabee. So there's going to be at least one candidate who drops out in the Iowa caucus, but probably a couple more than that. I'm not saying it's 100%, um, there's a 100% probability that they'll drop out. It's just a high probability. So, I will be surprised if nobody drops out, but somebody probably will. Um, I think Michael Bennett's too delusional to drop out. Um, so, all we know is that, is that John Delaney is not going to be in the Iowa caucus. He's not going to be involved because he has dropped out. Um, so, summary of the video, he was that fear-mongering guy who just was absolutely delusional. <laughs> Couldn't um, accept the fact that he was losing. He would be that one guy sweating and and sounding paranoid at the base, which is absolutely fear-mongering, and talking about getting stuff done and being a centrist. And even in his video, his announcement video where he was dropping out, he spoke about centrism and <laughs> about how the Democratic candidate has to go to the center. And I'm not going to make a video on this, but in his, uh, I believe it was on MSNBC or some news network that, or CNN, where he literally on live on air said, I'm dropping out of the presidential race. So, and then his final words were, Something like Bernie Sanders would not win against Donald Trump. Somebody like Joe Biden would. So basically, he's just trashing Bernie. They're claiming the left can't win. Medicare for all can't win, which is just ridiculous. But I'm not making a video on, video on that because nobody's going to see it. <laughs> because nobody really cares about John Delaney. Sorry, I love him. I personally do. Nobody else cares about him. But, um, dear John Delaney, I loved you, but I also despise you at the same time. So, uh... See you guys later, and bye.